If you've ever thought about starting a YouTube channel, or maybe you're just nosy, in this video, I'm pulling back the curtains and showing you exactly how much YouTubers really make trying on bikinis. Hello, bows and bombshells, and welcome to this episode of Bombshell Entrepreneur. If you're already subscribed here, perhaps you've seen one of my very sexy bikini try-on hauls, but I want you to know that there's more to this channel than trying on bikinis. Oh yes, if there's anything I like more than trying on bikinis, it's taking long romantic walks to the bank. If we have that in common, did you know that starting a YouTube channel is one of the best ways to make money online today, according to nerdwallet.com? And the best part is you don't need a bikini body to do it. But how much do YouTubers actually make? For example, a small new channel with, let's say, 10,000 subscribers like me. In the first part of this video, I'll break down how making money on YouTube works and how anyone can get started. I'll then share with you some of the most profitable topics to start a YouTube channel about and how this little girl is making an estimated $5.5 million per month on YouTube. Stick around until the end of the video and I'll take you into my own analytics so that you could see how much this channel made my very first month of being monetized. Let's talk YouTube money, honey. Step into my office and let's get into it. Welcome to my office. Grab a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. I got my little blue light glasses here that I like to wear because I feel like they make me look smart. <laughs> now let's get into it. So anyone can start a YouTube channel about anything. Once you start making videos, you need just 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to start making money. I hit that 1,000 subscriber mark just two months ago and my channel has been growing and taking off ever since. I've been so excited about getting to $5.5 million per month because I'm gonna get there. But I even went shopping for my dream home here in Miami. It's a great video, I can't wait to edit it and publish it, so make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see that video when it comes out. But I digress. Whenever people find out that I have a YouTube channel, they always are curious to know how much money you make with YouTube. If you know me in real life, you know that I'm all about encouraging people to start businesses, to learn how to make money online. And so let's go ahead and break it down. Firstly, it's important to understand that the main way that people make money on YouTube is with ad revenue. Businesses pay YouTube to run ads so that they can attract more customers. Unless you have a YouTube premium subscription, you see those ads before, during, and after many YouTube videos. YouTube pays creators a percentage of that ad revenue for creating the content for them to be able to run those ads on in the first place. A lot of people think that how much money you make on YouTube has to do with how many subscribers you have, but that's not true. How much money you make on YouTube largely depends on three main metrics. The first metric is the number of times your video gets viewed or your video views. The second metric is how long you can keep keep people watching or your video watch time. The third very important but often overlooked aspect I'll get to in just a second, but the formula that we use to measure the earnings or the earning potentials of the number of views is called the CPM. CPM stands for cost per milli and it's just a fancy way of saying the cost per thousand views. I'm not gonna get too technical in this video, but for example, if you have a very high CPM topic. Let me grab my calculator. If you have a very high CPM topic that gets a CPM of say $5 per 1000 views. And so if all of the videos across your channel get, let's say 500,000 views per month, which is very reasonable for a small channel. Let's do the math. That's 
that's about $2,500 per month. If you're interested in diving deeper on this topic with me, I have a dedicated business and money channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. So make sure you go and check that out. I talk all about making money online and growing a YouTube channel and all those kind of things. So check that out. Now let's take a look at that third mystery metric that I touched on earlier. The third very important but often overlooked metric that determines how much money you can make with your YouTube channel is the niche or the topics that your videos are about. Because not all niches or not all topics are created equal. Let's say you create funny cat videos, for example. That's easy to do. But the problem is the people that watch funny cat videos all day probably have way too much time on their hands, which strongly correlates with not having a whole lot of money or buying power. And so advertisers are willing to spend a lot less advertising on cat videos. Videos about money, finances, stocks, all those kind of topics, for example, can make even 10, 20 times more than other types of videos for the same number of views. If you wanna make a lot of money on YouTube, I highly recommend that you consider the topic or the niche that you're gonna be creating videos about. A channel that talks about money and finances and stocks and investments could see a CPM of $15 per 1,000 views. If we do the math on 500,000 views per month, that's about $7,500 per month. Whereas a channel that has cat videos and funny, goofy videos may have a CPM of let's say 50 cents per 1,000 views. For the same 500,000 views per month, that's about $250 per month. That's the difference between living la vida loca and living in somebody's backyard in Hialeah. Let's take a look at this little girl that I mentioned before. In the kids niche, the estimated CPM is around $1.50, but typically not more than $4 per 1,000 views. But with 1.3 billion video views sharing her life, sharing children's songs, educational entertainment, unboxings, vlogging, role plays, socialblade.com estimates like Nastia's earnings to be between 345,000 and 5.5 million dollars per month. Per month. Not to mention many YouTubers also make money from lucrative brand deals, sponsorships, affiliate marketing, and a variety of other methods creators use to monetize their channels. Among the most profitable niches on YouTube include business and money. Business and money channels discuss a variety of topics related to money and how to make it. These channels can be a great resource for learning about personal finance, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and other investment opportunities. Another profitable niche is the health and fitness space. Everyone wants to be fit and healthy, right? Additionally, health is something that people are willing to spend a lot of money on. Health and fitness channels provide valuable information on how to live a healthy lifestyle. These channels can be a great resource for people looking to lose weight, get in shape, and live healthier lives. Lastly, another profitable niche is technology. Technology is a rapidly growing industry with new innovations and products being released all the time. Technology channels offer valuable information on the latest gadgets, devices, and software. These channels can be a great resource for people looking to stay up to date with the latest technology trends. If you're interested to learn more ideas for more profitable niches that anybody can start a YouTube channel about, make sure to check the links and all of the resources I'm gonna link for you in the description below. Hi there, so here we are in the back end of my YouTube analytics and we're gonna just poke around to kind of show you how I'm kind of getting on as a brand new YouTuber and how much money I'm making. So it'll kind of help inspire you if you're new in your YouTube journey or you're thinking about starting to kind of give you an idea of what it's like being a new YouTuber without millions of subscribers yet. So here we are and I just wanna change this over to 90 days so that you can get an idea of where I'm starting from and when. So right about back in February, the beginning of February is when 
my channel was kind of, I had a few videos posted, but I wasn't really posting consistently. And then when I started to post a little bit more consistently, you can see the viewership started to really shoot up and spike up. And the thing with YouTube is you never really know about how things are gonna go with the algorithm. It's very natural for a channel to experience highs and lows and spike up and spike down. So I'm not too worried about this little spike down that I've been experiencing. I'm just gonna keep coming up with ideas that I wanna create videos about. Hopefully you guys like it and continue to watch and engage with the channel. So that's what the viewership looks like on a new channel. And here, let's go over to the subscribers and you can see here that I didn't really have many subscribers back in the beginning of February and then it really started to spike up as I said when I started posting posting more consistently. Now let's go over to the revenue and I'm gonna change this to 28 days because I think that's gonna give us a more precise look at what we wanna see and which is about how much does a new YouTuber make in a month. So here we are and we can see in the last 28 days, the channel generated about $565. Now, of course, that's not enough for someone to be able to quit their job, but that's a car payment as far as I'm concerned. And if I could have YouTube pay for for a really nice car for me, hey, that's better than, than having YouTube not pay for a really nice car for me. So, and that's really inspiration, you know, that if you could even make a dollar off of YouTube, that's just proof that you can make a hundred dollars, you can make a thousand dollars, you can make 5.5 million dollars, like Nastia. Nastia, I don't know how to pronounce that little girl's name, but she is banking, honey. And you know, I just see that as inspiration. And if you see here, if we break it down day by day, April 10th, the channel made about $18.34, $26.73, the highest in one day was $39.82. That's really, really impressive. And I think that's when I posted a new video. Obviously, when you post a new video, the views are gonna spike because more people, your subscribers especially, are gonna really tune in and watch those videos. So let's take a look at what I was talking about before, which is the CPM. So if we go over to revenue, we can see the CPM and the RPM. The the RPM is right around $1.51 and the CPM is $7.34. So I do have a friend who is also in the YouTube space. He's a lot further along than I am. He has a couple hundred thousand subscribers and his target audience is very affluent. And I can tell you that both his RPM and his CPM is a lot higher than mine, like multiples more than mine. His RPM, and he's not even talking about money or finance, and his RPM is somewhere around the $5 range. So for the same amount of viewers, he has the potential to make upwards of five times more than my channel does with the same amount of viewership, same amount of subscribers, etc. So it really goes to show that when it comes to YouTube and making money from YouTube, if that's something that you're interested in, that it's not all about subscriber count, it's not all about the number of viewers that you're getting. A lot of other things also play into how much money you can make with YouTube. But from making relatively simple videos, you know, fashion try-on videos, in just one month I can be earning almost $600 a month. If I could really double this by next month and continue to double and double and double, I would be so, so grateful. Like honestly, what a time to be alive. If you are not making money online in 2022, it's not too late. I can tell you I've been doing between the blogging and some other ventures that I'm involved in, I've been working for myself and making money online for over five years now and it's not too late. And really anybody can do it. Even if you don't have a lot of techie skills, you can learn. You can watch YouTube videos like this one, you could watch and read blog posts, you can take courses and you can learn how to do things where you can make money online. The best part about these kind of ventures is that a lot of it is passive income. So once you create content or once you learn affiliate marketing or whatever the method that you choose to use to make money online, it can earn money for you while you're sleeping, while you're on vacation, while you decide to take a month off from work. You don't have to go into a job and clock in and clock out in order to earn money. If you couldn't tell, I'm very, very passionate about entrepreneurship and making money online. And so I really look forward to sharing a lot more 
of these type of videos and other related make money online type of videos on this channel, as well as on my dedicated business and money channel. I'm still gonna be posting bikini hauls. I'm still gonna be posting vlogs and kind of whatever I feel like on this channel. So if you're interested in any one of those things, just make sure that you subscribe so that you get notified the next time. I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found the information helpful, insightful, or entertaining, make sure to give me a thumbs up and help my channel grow to that 5.5 million dollars per month. A girl can dream, can't she? <laughs> make sure you also check out the resources that I've linked for you down in the description, including my dedicated business and money channel. What would you do with 5.5 million dollars per month? What would you do? Wow, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. What a time to be alive. Subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until we meet again. Bye.